here, like, has her some. When Yao and Julianne and Tuya Jay moved to Conception Bay South before Christmas, it meant moving daycares, too. After a few months, the couple says they were called into an emergency meeting and without warning told their four year old son had to go. They say he had some minor issues, like crying during drop off and difficulty transitioning between activities. But the parents say they were presented with new stories in April, told their son nearly pushed a worker down the stairs that he wouldn't put on snow pants to go outside. News to them, they say, with no incident reports or documentation. But we also do feel like it wasn't handled in a professional manner and the steps that should have been taken were not followed. The family feels the claims are exaggerated and says their son had no issues at a previous child care center. We kind of feel like some of these daycares are taking advantage of this current child care crisis in Newfoundland. The four-year-old, they say, was the only child of color at the CBS center and suspect he felt different but was unable to express those feelings. I strongly feel my son was like discriminated against at that daycare. Mom, Julianne, is a nurse. She's meant to return to work next month, but says that won't happen without childcare, and that feels like an impossible mission. And when I called to see where they were on the list, on the wait list, they said they had no more wait list. They got rid of the wait list. That it was, there was hundreds of kids on this wait list, and it just got too overwhelming. She feels daycares are picking and choosing between which kids they want to accept. And with the clock ticking on her maternity leave, there's a lot on the line. I've already been off on maternity leave. They don't have to approve me any more time on paid leave. I could lose seniority, my pension. There are a lot of things at stake here. Their son's dismissal comes as some children with exceptionalities have been dismissed from daycares due to a shortage of staff and inclusion workers. Yao says child care should be affordable for families, but also accessible. Like you're solving one problem and then creating another. So I will urge the authorities to look into this whole thing holistically and make sure there's a balance between access and affordability. Heather Gillis, CBC News, St. John's.